my name is Bill Wireman. I'm the Field Service Supervisor for Logan Services. I'm here today to talk to you about frozen coils, uh, how, how it can impact your system, uh, what you can do to take care of it, and how to prevent it in the future. So the biggest reason that uh, you'll have a frozen coil is lack of airflow or uh, low refrigerant in your system. Uh, the lack of airflow can a lot of times be attributed to a dirty filter um, or a problem with the blower motor and that will start the, the freezing process on the indoor coil. Or how it impacts your system is you can have higher energy bills, uh, the humidity in the home uh, will be high, the humidity be comfortable, uh, reduced airflow so like when you're checking the airflow coming out of your registers it doesn't it's not very powerful so if you notice that uh, there is ice buildup on your unit somewhere the first thing you need to do is shut it off um, it will only continue to build ice if you uh, keep letting it run so shut it off and then you can start checking the air filters and stuff like that to see if they're if it's simple as that or do you need to call a professional to come out and take a look at it one of the main ways you can uh, prevent it from happening in the future is have your system uh, checked out before the system starts. Like uh, have routine maintenance done where they're coming out, checking the refrigerant levels, making sure the electrical components are working right and that your drain is actually flushing properly like it should. 